What's happening guys? We are going to be updating our Helix units. Right now we have version 2.750 and the newest version just came out in September and it's um, version 2.760. They say it's kind of identical but there is two different fixes that they they did. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to go to support and then you're going to scroll down to software updates. This is super simple too. Uh, we have a 16 gigabyte SD card in right now to where we can do all that transferring um, and then we're going to scroll down to our our helix units I have four helix 10 units and I have a bunch of different models too so I'm gonna click on the first one which is the helix 10 um, right here mega side image and GPS gen 4 and as you can see right here it is the version 2.760 um, these are the two fixes right here. They have a couple little notes too. They want to make sure that you have everything up to date before you make the, the newest update. So just make sure you have that. Um, here are some of the features. Talks a lot about that that live target, which is pretty neat if you haven't seen that. All right, so we're going to scroll down to the bottom where the update is. All right, right there where it says download software. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Usually makes a sound when it's through. Usually doesn't take much time. Now, like I said, I have four Helix units in. I have three different versions of the Helix. Um, one's MDI, one is side imaging, um, and the other one is just like GPS. So we'll have to do this three different times. I have four units, two of them are the same, so we'll have to do three updates. Alright, once that update is, is good, we'll scroll here. We'll double click on that. That link right here in the, in the download section. Let's see. So here it is here. All right. We have a mega live update. We have a, a different update here. So what I typically do is I'll click on that. All right, and then I'll click on this right here. And this will tell you the version right here. Um, you can't you can't do anything with this right here. The only thing that you can do is actually just carry it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just click on this and just drag it to the SD card that you have. I have a 16 gigabyte, I don't know if I said 32, but it's a 16. All right, and then it's gonna load. It's just super simple. So once it's through like that, you can go ahead and remove the, the SD card. Remove it, and then we take it to the unit. All right, now that we're at the console, uh, you want to make sure that you don't have any other SD cards in there. As you can see, it's empty. And then you want to go to menu, menu again, go to uh, setup, and then you want to go to, it's kind of bright, uh, restore defaults. All right, yes. They say you always want to do that before you um, do an update. So make sure you restore the defaults and also make sure there's zero SD cards in there. One thing that I like to do too when I'm doing this is put it on that blank screen that it was just on. This one right here. Just helps me read it just a tad bit better when it's on. So then you just take your, your SD card and slide it in there. Then it's gonna kinda just walk you through it. It's gotta locate the update first. There it is right there. It says replace software version 2.75 with version 2.760. Yes, abort software update to version. We don't want to abort anything, so go ahead, hit no. Updating software to version so and so and so and so. And it's as easy as that. All right, well, it usually tells me that it, it does you know, update and you can take the card out, but I'm gonna just click through this real quick just to see what version we're on. Hold 
viewing. Let's go to system. System status. All right, it says it's at the version 2.760. And like I said, it usually, you know, pops up uh, another little box saying that, you know, everything was good and you can go ahead and current software version, car version, no update required. SD card was successful, there it was right there, successfully downloaded. So that's the little box I was gonna uh, tell you that I usually look for. It showed it just right there. But uh, as you can see, once you do the update, 2.760 right here, we got the update, guys. It's super simple. Um, I think all in all, it was probably less than five minutes. So make sure you guys take the time to update your software. It's uh, it's very, very good for your unit. So make sure you do that. Keep up. And uh, until then, see you next time. Take it easy, guys.